Apple, Apple. Google, everywhere. Hey. So I need to be up in here. Already. Like you in the studio. Huh? I don't want no sauce. Here you go. I get out here talking crazy. <laughs> go ahead. Now look. Y'all tripping. No, sir. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favor? This ain't nothing but some boss talk. <laughs> I got it all in the dick, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I love I see what's going on. <laughs> I'm understanding now already, man. Yeah. It's a demand on it. But some boss talk already. Y'all niggas serious. Yo, man. Yeah. Check it, man. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, official, amazing Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. My dad will go on. Hey, man. We got a guy here today, man. This I've been trying to catch this dude, man. Hey, mm. man. This dude here, man, he always on the move. Yes, sir. Say, man. Hey, hey, hey. Cash move everything around me, man. You better know it. <laughs> Say, man. The man, the shine is in the building. Yo, what's happening? Hey, man. It's so good. Good to have you, man. So, man, appreciate y'all man, for bringing I've been, me. Man, I've been a fan, man. A fan, I, I, and I'm gonna be honest with you. When I when I think about the the run, you, you when you first started, uh, I was on it, man. You know yes what I'm saying? Sir. The hard way and all that, I was on it. Fed up, all I was on it, man. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm, I'm here, a fan, yeah, nigga. yeah, fast. For I'm, sure. I'm a music dude, and yeah. when it come through, nigga, I'm. She know how I am. She gets sick of it. I be turning it up. <laughs> whole house gonna be jumping. You know what I'm talking? About? Yeah, yeah. But nah, man. Thank you. I always tell. Nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, man, just just tell us a little bit about just who you are and, and how. How you we in Atlanta, y'all? Yeah, real talk, man. And uh, we here with the red sun, yeah, about to go down. And don't Everybody forget too. to like and subscribe now. Uh, don't just it. watch, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that matters, I can tell you that. So, with you, coming up, man, so just give us a little rundown on just who you are, right? We as always far go back you. as you can remember. She go all like the way. what, like, like, like from the like young boy stage, man. For you, like, what would like you say, five. Five, damn, we ain't got all night, dude. If you can remember, if you can remember. Yeah, I can remember. Like, um, how, were you, how were you as a, as a kid growing up? Are you an only child? Were you raised with your mom and dad? Well, I, I, I started off stuff. I started off with Mom Dukes, of course. And, um, oh. I got it. I started off with Mom Dukes, of course. Um, I stayed with one of my brothers, but I had another brother. Um, that You know, my dad had another son. The older one you talked to? You, I, when I did some research, you have an older one that you talk about? Who, me? Yeah. Nah. Oh, okay, so it's not. So hey, not. you know what's crazy? I don't know where the internet be getting the information <laughs> from, bro. They just be putting anything about me I on know, there, like. I know. But nah, um. You gotta watch Google and all that, boy. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, that's why I don't go down that rabbit hole, nigga. I be in there. They that make nigga, up I, anything. I get on that nigga Instagram, nigga, and start looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this was really my <laughs> That nigga just post this, and he over there, and then they got a show over there. That's yeah. the way I do it. And yeah. I know exactly where I'm coming but from. But social media be so fake sometimes. Nah, that nigga be traveling. He gotta go to them shows. You got to yeah. tell him, hey man, I'm coming down such and yeah, such. I'm you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you got to let to him stay know. Busy too. Exactly. I am not trying to see still. So yeah, but but just when you when you first came up, man, as a kid, man, coming up. Uh, so how was it? We we want to know about you, the red, the show. I mean, um, I I could say it's like it's. I mean, I don't want to say similar, but you know, it's just it's just life. Like I. Until I was nine, I grew up with my mom. You know what I'm saying? Okay. After that, I was with my dad. So. I grew up really and learned how to be a man from a man, like from a different point of view. I ain't really had a female soft side to learn how to be uh, nurturing with a woman that much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I learned um, through my so, own learnings with different females. So um, when your mom had you up to the nine years old, you didn't learn that part during that time? Nah, because my mom was rough too. Like, you know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. Especially raising a, 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 a young black nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I say a nigga like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raising a boy and, and me being her first boy and she was young, you know what I'm saying? So I can remember the times, you know, I'm fighting at school or uh, fighting in the neighborhood and, and, and like the other kids, brothers and them come down, we'll beat your sister ass too. Yeah. Like she was young, my mom was young, young, you know what I'm saying? So she like, I ain't this motherfucking sister. I beat one of y'all. Already. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So she was rough too. Like, wasn't no running, wasn't no plan, wasn't no mama. He hit me. It's go back out there, beat his ass. Uh, you ain't coming in the house type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I never really had that 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 soft side. Like, when a nigga got to the point of learning, like, ooh, 
I like that girl. What I'm supposed to do? Like I ain't get that because I was with, with my dad. Like mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And that's dope because I was with my dad, nigga. I'm yeah. glad I with that nigga. Like, yeah. Working, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Chopping you, on trees. But isn't your dad yeah. supposed to teach you how to be a nah, ladies' nah, man? Hell too? no. They bring them plates to the house. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Nah, see, yeah, my yeah. Dad, yeah, nah. My dad was. <laughs> my dad was. Play yeah, up, yeah, yeah. Bring them plates to <laughs> the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. Bring them plates to the house, nigga. And drop them off. I give me a little plate too out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Paul was. Yeah, he was your. He was a young player. You yeah, know that's man. the way it be. And yeah. We sat at some woman house all night together, and I'd be sitting in the truck or something, waiting on him. Then we go home. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it went down. <laughs> 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 that's why your daddy handled his Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go to the house. You know what I mean? <laughs> Country nigga, man. But no, so, you know, what? when did when did you know you had something in the music, mm -hmm. man? That, um, I... Me personally, I never like like I didn't myself say like oh I'm fine or nothing like that. Like everybody else told me, everybody around me. But I mean, I knew I had a gift with words, like playing with words, writing poetry, or talking and making it rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Like just popping shit. Like as a at a young age, listening to the rap music, mm -hmm. freestyling over shit. Like I don't know when. Like it just it, day one. So yeah. you love to freestyle. I used to Not now Like I ain't even gonna lie Like I listen to it though I salute them Like them niggas man, And feel I, I can't think that long that man Them niggas shit. go hard man Yeah they fire But I don't think That's my I can't No yeah, man, man. That's a lot man You know like You you know I know you a challenger Nigga on here Hey we're gonna freestyle Or hey she done put A lot of niggas on the spot Oh yeah like, no Hell no Like she ain't for that But I'm like just Like some of them Gonna flop You know we've had Some hell of a floppers Up there yeah. you know what I'm like, I can believe it No like, like and Some of it I couldn't put out No like, nah, listen nah, I man, I, out, can, man. I, I can believe it I'm gonna tell you How I can believe it In my first run right mm -hmm. Like when I first When Hardaway first got going Yeah I definitely went to All the little freestyling spots And all that And they tried that shit too I'm like man Hell no I don't do that No Then you know With some I'm like alright I'm gonna try it And I'm like Hell, hell no, no. <laughs> Nobody ain't doing you that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it, I, that ain't the lane, though. And the reason why is because I don't, I, I'm going to tell you why it's rough for me. I don't write music, right? Yeah. But I don't know how to, um, like, like, if I'm freestyling, I got, I, I'm, I'm punching in, I'm feeling the vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm changing pitches. I'm getting deeper and deeper. And I'm storytelling a little bit. So with the freestyle, I notice a lot of them be writing that shit. I can't remember that shit. I ain't going to lie. That's, that's I can't, it. I can't remember emotion. You feel what I'm saying? I don't think you can copy that. Like so, that freestyling shit ain't for me. But mm -hmm. most definitely. Um, so you know, we had uh, we had a hell of a moment this week. We went viral. We was on uh, World Star. We was on. <laughs> yeah, let me get the cap a little bit. We was on Vlad. We yeah. was on every every platform. Uh -huh. And I thought about you. You think what the hell this nigga talking about? <laughs> I thought about. I thought about because I had a moment where. They got out of hand. Uh -huh. And I thought about Birdman over there at that dang girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. And you was in there that day. Yeah, yeah. And I said, man, nigga, I had my Birdman moment in here where yeah, I you couldn't did, control sure. what was going yeah, on. for sure you, you know did. what I'm saying? So tell me how it was that day, because I know I seen y'all. I said, I'm going to ask him. Then I tell you, mm -hmm. I said, I'm going to ask him about that. It was a surprise to me. It like, was a surprise. Even if, even, even, if, even if it was a discussion before that happened, I didn't, it wasn't enough of a discussion for me to understand what was finna happen. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. It was just awesome. We finna go on here. I'm, you know, we gonna talk or whatever. I don't know what was actually said. I can't remember. I just so know y'all stormed that thing, man. Nah, that was regular shit. Well, I mean, yeah, it was regular shit. Like that's how a nigga moving. But yeah, when that shit happened, it was like, oh shit. How was the energy in the room? That's what I'm talking. I'm saying, as soon as we walked in, it was, hey, let me tell you, motherfuckers. Oh shit, it's on. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to see who, what's going, who, what man. You know what I mean? Like, like, you see, you my know, you like, nigga, ain't finna sneak me. Like, let me see what really going that's on. That's what it was big. When I was in there with, when the boys started going down on us, I was like, damn, man. I hope these niggas they ain't get, uh, ain't nobody get nothing in here. Nigga. <laughs> shit. That shit would have been fucked up. <laughs> That would have been fucked up. It, 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 how, did, how did you feel? My back is to the wall. I can see the whole room. <laughs> yeah, like, hold up. Hold on. That's, yeah, that's the only my thing I My cameraman, if you watch that clip, my cameraman walked Started away. making a beeline <laughs> before everything. He said, all right, uh, I'm, out. I'm he, out of here. I dropped a behind the scenes on it like like uh, a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. yesterday. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, you can see he stopped recording right after it started. Like, oh. That nigga, ah. I, I, I gotta 
I go, I didn't, I don't make enough for this. You know? <laughs> so yeah, so so I, 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 when you first, I, I'm a Birdman fan, nigga. Like top of the line Birdman fan. Uh, mm-hmm. I seen him in a couple of places where he he was out in the crowd, nigga. He, he don't mind getting out with his people. How how did you and him uh, meet? And you know how did you <clears throat> y'all link up? Well, from um. Uh, London on the track and, and the old management um, June Jones they put me in the they like London was working on um, r- the Ridge Gang album with uh, like Thug and, and, and Corn so they like while they was working on that they just brought me in like a like a alley-oop like just come on bro just come down like and at first I was like man I don't know, bro. Like, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, this is, it's crazy. Like, I can't believe, like, bro, y'all working with Bird, man. Ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. So, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, nervous. Like, man, nah, I ain't, I'm all right, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? You can't let him see you sweat? Yeah, like, nah, it wasn't even that. It was like, I'm, nah, I ain't ready, bro. Y'all, uh, that's yeah. Bird, oh, man, okay. bro. Gotcha, gotcha. So, when they were like, nah, bro, come on, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. So, you know, the first time I ever was around, we was at a studio in Atlanta. And I was just kind of sitting back, listening to everybody, watching, you know, like, damn, this shit legendary. And then I went to Miami, and they were like, I'm here. You know wow. what I'm saying? So I woke up, and I got involved. I started rapping. I'm in the studio every day doing 15 hours a day. Like, no, dope, no, no games. Like, literally, every wake up at 1 o'clock. Lead the next day at one o'clock, like type Work shit. Work ethics is you gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that and it's true. Then what I hear about them, how they work a lot. Oh yeah, they working. I ain't no bullshit. It's work. It's straight work. It ain't a vacation at no, all. No, hell no. That's it, what I always would wonder. How can a man? Um, okay, when you're on your grind and doing all that, working all those hours, especially if you have a family, kids at home, or whatever, how do you balance all of that? I ain't gonna lie. It almost broke me once. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like probably my third month in. Not being home, it probably like I got a I got a call from my son. And he was like, "Dad, am I ever gonna see you again? Like you've been gone too long." Mm. And it fucked me up. I dropped the till. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. I'm like, damn man, am I doing the right shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how sometimes you feel like you abandon the one right. thing to chase one thing. And I'm a man first. Like I ain't gonna sure. never abandon my children. How old was your son at that time? Oh shit. Uh, I don't even know. Like mm. I wait. Well, 11 now I go back what 5 years probably 4 five okay, years okay so he yeah. was old enough yeah, to understand yeah but he, he missing the pops man yeah. you know what I mean and, and you, if you had already been there and established that relationship that and then all of a sudden you had to leave like that yeah that'll, that'll mess He's something up so that. I'm at I was always out you know what I'm saying yeah. in life I wasn't I wasn't able to do nigga, the shit the I wanted we do the best we can yeah, man fact. but I was at active. that time you yeah. was active you feel me and yeah, it fucked me up. It was like, damn, man. I'm a, and then you know, this the this the I got the iPhone and shit. I'm using um, what the little apps is uh go, Google Duo or some Duo, shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. FaceTime him on. He like, damn, it was tough. Oh, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm trying to be strong, so I'm like, boy, stop all that crying. <laughs> I'm like, hey, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? No, no, soon as I hold up the phone, right? As soon as I hold the phone, I looked at the studio door, that bitch dropped. Bloop. Oh, yeah. Damn, yeah. boy. Hey, but, man, that's good stuff right there. And I went back in. Yeah, 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 went yeah. Went back in. But, you know, and, and, and all things work together for the good of them that love yeah, God fact. and called, called according to his purpose. I mean, you doing what you, you walking in purpose, man. Yeah, fact. And that's the whole game. A lot of people don't realize that, man. You got to you gotta do what, you know, God got a plan wrote out for everybody, and you got to walk in your purpose. Yeah, man. you got to, man. Like you're gonna get lost. That's right. For that's, sure. that, no, that's some real talk. So when you was dealing with, uh, with, with, and I'm gonna get off of this in a second. Did you, have, you ever run into Slim when you was dealing with, the, with the, with the oh yeah, hell yeah. yeah. He was, he was pretty much good, involved. Yeah, he, yeah. Slim. Good people, ain't he? Yeah, man. Good nigga. Goddamn, like when, when I seen both of them in there together, like I see Bird and I see Slim, yeah. I'm like, this shit ain't. Whoa, <laughs> say like, man. Hell no, man. man. Everybody don't even get to see shit. Never, you nigga. I'm out here sitting with him playing music. He fucking with my shit. Like, bro, I'm going to tell you something. I'll be real with you, man. When I think about Birdman and Slim, them, man, they like my the Jay Z of the South or the. Uh, for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they they paved the way, them and Jay Prince, 
for the yeah. South man and just yeah. the, when it first started to develop, I'm talking about Master P, all of these different guys, man, uh, when you look at them, they patriarchs. I'm an older cat. Mm. So I looked at how the whole thing started out. And them guys, being down here in the South, man, we didn't have nothing. At first, it was on the East Coast, and then yeah. it went to the West Coast. Yeah. We finally got a jab at it. And uh, when we got it, I think we did, Atlanta did us justice, man. <laughs> you know, I shout out to Atlanta. Yeah, you yeah, niggas. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. You niggas is off the chain. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, you know. <laughs> Shout out to them Atlanta rappers. Yeah, hey, no, 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 you know what I'm saying? No, no, I'm talking just where we at. I get you though. Yeah. Yeah, you feel me? Nah, I'm saying shout out to them for real. Yeah, real go they, on. yeah like from the whole dance scene, from the from the from the swag scene, like I, I salute every you salute them. everybody from Atlanta. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Every artist from Atlanta. I, just I, look at, I look at the way that the music move, man. Then like I said, when I seen you, I was like, man, did did DJ Envy did he have by hard away or, or what? What was his so deal what with that? With the DJ Envy at situation. first, he didn't have it. wasn't it, you came off with it first? Right? Yeah, okay. like I dropped it. Yeah, like, you dropped it. Like really, I didn't even drop it. Me and my crew, like we had a cop and we was in the strip club somewhere, and my brother like, man, I'm finna sneak off and play this shit. He sent it to a DJ. I don't remember who got it first. I want to say it was DJ Big Tiny, maybe, yeah. who, who we slipped the two first. And then DJ, uh, what DJ was it at? Where was y'all at? Man, what the name of that club was right there? V-Lot? Uh, that shit right there by, um, by Talk Go. The V-Live, V-Live, was down here? V-Live was down here. Yeah, they had their three three stories in there. I went in that thing. Yeah, they had the three, yeah, three shit, that's right. Like yeah, that. yeah, I seen that, yeah, man. So that's probably the first, one of the first places we dropped that shit. Uh, Magic City, for sure, we dropped it there. Like, wow. All the major shit, we were just like, once my brother slipped that shit one time, we were like, fuck it. Let's just go out and do it. Oh, like, yeah. it's on. Next thing you know, it started getting big in the clubs, in the streets, niggas round around playing it. Uh, DJ Envy came down. My my DJ uh, DJ and Dirty was playing it in eleven forty five, and the whole club like he stopped the music and the whole club was singing that shit. Song. Yeah, like crazy, like whoa, like if I ever dropped a tell about some shit that was amazing, it was that moment. Like messed them boys head up. They singing my shit. They screaming yeah, my that's shit. Favor, nigga. That's favor. You bro. feel me? That's favor. And the crazy thing. We go home, like we, we, I was still, we weren't even, you know what I'm saying? We were just doing, we had to do the move around to make shit look good. So you hadn't did the video yet or nothing nah, like hell, that? No, nah. hell, It is just, you dropped just it the in there? Just the music was out, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And um, DJ Envy called my brother phone. How did he get his number? I don't know, Call. you know what I'm saying? I'm in the room, sleep. He coming out like, hey, bro, some <laughs> nigga named DJ Envy just called me. I jump up, DJ Envy? <laughs> He like, yeah, you know who this nigga is? <laughs> I'm like, bro, stop fucking playing with me. I love Ain't you, no man. fucking DJ in the car, you nigga. He like, bro, I'm dead ass. I said, man, whatever. I roll over and go back to sleep. He called back. He said, bro, it's a DJ, a nigga, DJ Envy. So then he called my, my other manager and shit. I don't think he believed it either. So I finally got up. Call him back then. He called him. He was like, yo, what's up, the Reds? It's DJ Envy. I'm like, you knew the voice, nigga. That, I mean, I would have seen that, that, that Breakfast Club, nigga. Yeah, you heard I'm saying, the voices. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking the nigga might be playing because, you know, at that moment, nigga everybody was playing and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what up? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? He like, yo, yeah, man, I like the record, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, mm, for real. Oh, yeah. 100, appreciate it. How you get my brother number? You know what I'm saying? Nigga like, get hard on that nigga, yeah, man. Yeah, but nah, I had to, I'm trying to open them up and see if it's real, like, and it was real, like. And I'm yeah. like, oh shit. Hey, I called my manager, hey bro, nah, that's him for real, bro. We got the boy, what the hell was that? Let's go do this shit. He wanted to do, what did he want to do? So what we did, I don't know initially what he wanted to do. Maybe he did want to buy the song, but that's something I don't know. I didn't have that discussion. But what happened was we did like a partnership on the record, 50 50 partnership. And we redropped it. Wow. Okay. You see what I'm saying? We redropped that shit. And it went crazy. Went crazy, man. I remember seeing Birdman in that damn car. And you, you, that, you when he that that, you, that you, Instagram you, video right there, that's what let that I I think that's when I knew like this shit might be something. <laughs> Nigga, Birdman ride around, around playing this motherfucker. <laughs> this might be one. Man, but, I, man, only only you, you you ain't no whole bunch of people experience this. What you saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's it's dope though that you 
Will you ever have? Will you be able to make a song bigger than that? Will I? Of course. Have you made a song bigger than that? I don't think I made it today due to the numbers, but yeah, I will. I make plenty more bigger than that. Reading that yeah, how remember much pressure, I asked you the same but question. How much pressure do you put yourself under to make something bigger than that? I don't put myself under no pressure because um, I honestly feel like God gave me the talent to do it the first time. And I did that song on the spot. Like, it wasn't, I ain't sit down, think about it or nothing. It was like, mm. I went in, did it. And, and the truth about uh, Hardaway, right? I had did a song already, like, well, at least a hook. I did a hook, like, years ago. And when he put me on the spot, uh, London playing the beat, and there's a lot of us in the studio, so my man's are like, get in there, what you scared of, boy? You know, you can go out and talk, get in there, boy, you a jukebox, just make some. Yeah. I go in there, I'm thinking, I hit them, they pressing the talk, man, what take it so long, bro, say something? So I called my engineer, done salute, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. You remember that song I did when I was talking about uh, Magic Hardaway, Penny Hardaway? He was like, yeah. I said, play that shit right quick. So now I step behind the thing in the studio behind it so it don't pick up on the mic. Mm -hmm. I'm listening, Hardaway, all right, Hardaway, oh man, oh man, Hardaway. All right, bet, boom, I hang up. And I go in there, Hardaway, Hardaway. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make it go to the beat. I ain't nah, nah, nigga with that. And it just came out, I'm looking in the room, I'm seeing niggas like, niggas was over there doing all this. I ain't nah, nah, nigga for no like. <laughs> and to be honest, it was a lot of niggas on Hardaway at first. Really? Hell yeah. Like, you know how you do a song in the studio? Yeah, 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 a lot of people. And then niggas just boom, 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 put verses on there. It was a lot of niggas on there. I had to wake up like, one of my buddies like, bro. Can't do that. Nah, you tripping, bro. This you need to do this. You need to go do a second verse, bro. You true. Mm -hmm. And I went and did the second verse. And I was with I was at uh I forgot the studio I was at, but young scooter was in there. He was like, this the one. Goddamn Alibi, this the one. So when all these niggas saying that, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go and finish it. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that shit was lit though. Think about it now. I ain't never thought this deep about all the way in that Man, moment. we went in on that one of my favorite songs. That's yeah. what I, that's all that's happening right here. I'm <laughs> <laughs> if somebody turn that song on right now in the club, the club it's is gonna, gonna jump. Still, yeah. still, still to this still. day. Yeah, that shit is now. crazy. What was your relationship with Slim Duncan and uh Waka Flock? Um they was like, you know, close friends, like family, like brothers for real, like Okay. Um don't believe in me so strong. Um, you know, it, it was just crazy. Like the relationship, it was. I never, I never like really had no type of relationship with a person like that. That was like that's probably the big brother they were saying. Mm -hmm. I be talking about like he was like a big brother to me. Like I was like the the alley hoops he threw. It was crazy. Like you know what I'm saying. So genuine, and it was just like damn. You know right. when he passed, like kind of fucked the nigga up mentally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's tough, man. You know, man, P hey, one day you're here and then you're gone. That, that, I, I really believe that, that, that yeah. the UGK song be so real to me. You know? oh, <laughs> That's why I always say shit. treat every day like it's your last because you really don't know. So even when you were talking about your son earlier, I remember when I lost my father. And I realized, at that point, I realized that we would always hustle, try to make money for the kids, try to create a lane where they can grow up and learn how to become entrepreneurs you know stuff like that mm. and that's what this world does it makes you want to work 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 to leave them something yeah fact. but that's not the most important thing when my father died i realized that i had all these memories that he left me yes there was money or whatever mm -hmm. but it was mainly I remember going hunting with him. I remember going fishing with him because I was a oh, tomboy. Oh, you used to go hunting? I was a tomboy. I'm the only girl, but I was a tomboy. You know what, man? It sounds good when you, you yeah, on the mic. You know, it's mic. Whatever. Kind of <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> then Mike had you really. Boy, you stand Don't behind him. You almost think you're a rapper, singer. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, <laughs> where do the but, pain? Oh, go ahead. I'm going to let you go. No, but that's what um, I learned over that time, that period of time in my life is that treasure the things that you have right now money is not everything it's the family you have it's the kids it's you leaving them memories you leaving them lessons because yeah. when when you're gone and we don't know what day that gonna be yeah. when we leave this I earth agree. so we need to always leave something that people can remember us by 
That's why sure. I'm trying to build it up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to be like the rich. To. I'm trying to be like the rich white folk. You got you know to. how they go to college and they be like, oh, that's the Henderson's family. <laughs> yeah, I want them to be like that with me too. My kids, they kid, they kid, kid, kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to buy the big ass castle motherfucker too. Where we going there? You see me, the new granddad. Like I want that shit to go on just like them. Like I want the same shit they had. The shit they deprived us of. I want for mine too. Man, that's cool. Why do you why do you find that place, man? Because when you the, the pain in your songs and the, how do you go to that place? Like the the way you grab, you know, dig deep and get mm-hmm. those, mm-hmm. go to those places. I just honestly, you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> that, that, I honestly, bro, I done been through so much shit, right? And it's crazy. I even asked myself, like, I done made a million songs about pain, and yeah. they all different. I just wherever the beat take me, I become a part of the beat, like. It depends, like, you know, it, it could be something I'm going through today, tomorrow, something I just thought about from last year. Um, it could be, so, like, us talking right here about what we talking about. I can go tomorrow and be like, make a song about I got to leave a legacy or some shit. Got to leave something for my kid. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It just come from the inside, bro. It's genuine. It's organic. It come from my soul. It don't come from no made-up bullshit. I ain't trying to look at another nigga lifestyle and imitate that shit. I'm going off me. Yeah, and that's why yeah. people feel it so much. Because when I listen to the words, I can feel it. Yeah, right. Yeah, you got fact. you got the Rob Wave, the Marais, you, mm-hmm. Mo Three. You link with Mo Three mm-hmm. on yeah, the song. Fact. So I how did how did how did with Marais? Yeah, I seen I seen I that too. T Rail. Only T-Rail. nigga I need to get is Rob Wave. He got to come on in. That boy, man. He, that'd and he may, yeah, that'd be yeah, it'll be five the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so the thing that I look at, man, is is with the Mo3 thing. How did you end up making that happen? Uh, we had Link, <clears throat> uh, me and him linked on our own time. Like, like I, I, I was just asking this question before. I really can't remember how. Like, okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? But we traded numbers or whatever, you know, talking organically, genuinely. He sent some, and I sent it back. And wow. it was a look. Like, we been did the song, you know what I'm okay. saying? So. It wasn't like, you know, this this situation happened and then a nigga reached out. We been locked in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know so it happened be, it, yeah. it, before his demise, yeah. untimely yeah. demise. Yeah. Yeah. Man, and so the cloud, that, and I asked this question, I've been asking it, with Young Dolph pass and like you getting killed like you did uh, just a few days ago, um, this, this cloud of darkness that covers the rappers, man, mm-hmm. when it come down to, you know, it's like, you see the pop smokes, the Mo threes, all these different people. I can keep naming them. You know, what's the little boy Dirk? The one go with Asian dog went with Asian dog. What was that boy Von. named Von King Von? All these kids, man. For me, I'm an older cat. You know, how does when you see these things happening and being that you in this world, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, does it make you choose the way you move wisely? Does it make your song choice what you say wisely? You know, wiser. Um, or, or how do you how do you deal with it? I mean, for me, <clears throat> I can't speak for nobody else but myself, right? Um, it it kind of like it, it it gets scared sometimes. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's like it's so many rap niggas passing away yeah. at a at a fast rate. Like, damn, is niggas targeting rap niggas? Like, I mean, of course, you know, you always had shit going on with rap niggas, but this shit, all these deaths behind this shit. It's like, you got to be careful. You got to move more militant. So, and this for me, like, you know what I'm saying? I always felt like I was one of them niggas, like, if I can't kick it in the hood or kick it where I'm from or go to another nigga hood and show love, then I ain't who I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now that shit changing my thoughts, like, because the game ain't the same. Like, it's a lot of snakes in this shit. Like, it's a lot of niggas who do not like you, period. Like, mm-hmm. just because you got a light that's shining and causing them to be shaded on, like, so we'll smile in your face. Yeah, or get yeah. close as fuck to you. For sure. Real close. I'm knowing this. They'll be real close to you. You know what I'm saying? And then hate on you. Yeah, and, you and, 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 and say for example, you know, I done seen shit well, you know, and I'm not, not speaking on with rap shit, but just in life general, going through certain shit. I done seen niggas be close to a nigga. They don't do nothing to a nigga, but they'll let a nigga do something to a nigga. And you just as fucking dirty as they, like they, you know what I'm they saying? They got it done to him. You know, um, I just said this earlier that the kid that was on our show, Wardy Two Live, shout out to Wardy, he came on my show. The dude that was with him um, killed him. Mm. But and but right it was behind. yeah. But it, after they you know left and went out, the same dude he was trying to get me to interview, 
end up killing him. We end up going Some to the funeral. After. Yeah, uh, uh, just because they had a fault, a disagreement. And and it's crazy because. But you can. I, I don't mean to cut you off, but you can. You 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 can kind of blame the internet for that, right? Yeah. Because you got a lot of like, <clears throat> for example, I just called my son the other day, right? Yeah. And I was playing, but I was dead ass serious because I know the influence on this internet shit. Mm -hmm. So I see, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect, no nigga, whatever nigga do, that's their own thing. I don't, I don't care. You feel me? But how I raise mine is how I raise mine. So I've been seeing niggas with fingernail polish and shit on. Yeah. Which I don't give a fuck what a nigga do. Please believe me. You know what I'm saying? Salute them niggas. But I told my son, hey, bro, I've been seeing this shit on the internet so much. If I ever catch you with that shit, I'ma beat your motherfucking ass, boy. Be a top. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, and he yeah. like, what? Why would I do that? I'm sorry, I'm just letting you know, son. Yeah, shit yeah, on yeah. the internet so nigga, much. You, nigga, you finna make me call my son, nigga. You oh, trying fact. to set him trying to hear Yeah, nigga, before like, you think this shit so cool. Here. Nah, this ain't for the app. Right. Malachi yeah. don't even be nah, on the internet. Like and that. then, but, but, but back to the right. why this internet so much of his influence, you know, you got all these, these niggas that are YouTubers and TikTokers and and, 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 and I ain't outside Like niggas do not be outside And I'm not saying They may do Or they used to Or whatever But you're not right now Cause if you You making all this money Ain't nobody gonna let you Play with yourself like that First of all But these kids Don't know the difference That's right You understand So now when you see These niggas Oh boy we slide on everything We shoot shit up Nigga when we see you They thinking that's the way Yeah, yeah. But once again That's when They got suckers Running the game now So the niggas that's the niggas that's putting this shit in front of your kids I ain't doing that shit. No, not you know at what all. I'm saying? Not at all. And I teach man I'm like, bro, these niggas ain't doing that. Trust me. And if you you got your one or two niggas that do slide in there and really crazy. be just on that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But it ain't all of them. But it is definitely not all of them. And it shouldn't even be the ones that is on them because you should be making the change, bro. You trying man, to get away man. from that shit. Hey, when you know what you, I think they just think they got something to prove. Or a lot of times, these young niggas ain't never even even been in situations. I, I, and I say this, man, because because I I remember I, my first time going viral. I said I was talking about the dolphin, the Yo Gotti situation mm -hmm. when they at first when he got, got shot in the hand and in the butt, and and I was like, damn, man, you know, like y'all niggas ain't never went through this stuff. Like somebody could get killed. I mm -hmm. said this. I, mm -hmm. I, I I took it down off the internet because it went viral. Yeah. I, was, I was the big homie for a minute, nigga. I, I don't know what the, I don't know what the, I hit the wrong button, nigga. You know what <laughs> and they were like, I'm like, damn, you remember that? I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, I got worried. I'm like, damn, yo, God, them to be mad as hell at me. But it was just, I said it because I felt like nobody else wasn't saying it. Mm -hmm. I felt like, okay, man, y'all see these cats into it, man. Somebody need to say something. I can't say nothing. I ain't they big homie. But let me go to this internet. And it be then, some shit like, that's what I'm saying. It be some shit that you just can't speak. Some shit like just ain't going to never change. change. Yeah, but, and I'm not even saying that. I'm just talking. But he, the guy that's thinking that, that, that may not even have nothing to do with anything. But during that time, that was the real riffraff online. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just hate to see how people keep dying, man. And mamas keep crying, brother. Me, you know I what I'm saying? Shit too, and you bro. making you making mothers cry is what you're doing. You gotta realize but that. But you gotta you gotta like I say, right? Like I keep saying, not speaking on none of that. Yeah, shit yeah, 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 yeah. I don't sure. know, but I'm talking about from my point of view and the shit I've been through and the shit I have seen. Niggas ain't giving a fuck about their own mom. Dang, that's niggas right. going to jail, keep making their mama cry, trying to please niggas. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to be tough, like niggas ain't even being daddies and shit to their own kids because they. In the street, chasing behind a nigga trying to prove a point to the street. Like me, I'm beyond. I'm past that, nigga. I made it to be where I'm at today. I ain't finna take that shit for granted. I'm not even finna play. I let a nigga. I let a nigga have some shit before I even stress the issue on how I get out. Cause how I get out, I know what it is. I know the outcome. It's over with, and I gotta be here for mine. You know what I'm saying? I can't let no fake ass nigga on the internet raid my kids. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Real talk. I got to be here. So I'm on some grown shit like, I ain't, man, whatever. Y'all got it, nigga. Get you some money. You know some what of I'm these saying? kids look up to these dudes on the street more than they look up to their parents. Exactly. You want me to tell you some for crazy sure, shit? For real. Uh, and what bothered me, what used to bother me, not no more because I kind of understand. My kids look to me like the red, the sun, instead of daddy. I've been through that shit like, wow. Facts. To the point where I had to let them know, like, motherfucker, I'm your dad, boy. Yeah, nobody. Hey, little girl, I'm your daddy. Stop yeah. playing with me. Yeah. You know First what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fast. They, I'm dead ass. 
They happy that I'm Darrell Deshaun or was, you know, not daddy. Yeah. They going to school, yeah, my daddy is Darrell Deshaun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Darrell Deshaun this. Oh, taking my hood is wearing them to school. My son acting out in class, talking about my daddy, Darrell Deshaun. I ain't got to do shit. Mm. Wow. Like, man, I beat your ass, but I'm a daddy <laughs> before all that. You feel me? You gotta, you gotta love it, man. The fact the parenting is real, ain't it? Yeah. You can't, hey, you can't even, you, you don't know what book to go by. You just gotta do it, right? You gotta jump out there and try it. I'm, th I'm daddy. <laughs> exactly. I'm about to on your ass. <laughs> I'm talking about, and, and, and I'm a dad. I pull up the schools, me like too. being, being me, like trains on whatever. However, I'm rocking. I'll never forget. Right, one day I had to come check my son in school, fresh off the road. I'm come, we coming. His mama calling. Oh man, DJ just got suspended. Man, can you go get him from the school? I'm like, what? But I'm on the way from. I'm I'm almost in the All right, bet I'm gonna go. I go. I go get him. The kid jump. Oh, the red. All that shit. I'm in on daddy time though. I'm yeah, looking yeah, like you're not even trying to hear. I'm it. looking like what is this nigga at, man? Yeah. I go in there. I catch him in the act. He done hit a nigga with a like. I guess they got to fight. He done hit a nigga with a uh, a tray or some shit. Wow. In the room. Boom. I'm like, hey, the fuck? Like, I went crazy. Daddy mode. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? The teacher was like, hey, you true. can't do that shit in here, dad. They locked your ass up. <laughs> right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I'm daddy first. I, I think that's that dope, shit. man. I, I think our kids need, they gotta have mm -hmm. that, bro. Mm -hmm. Especially got to. young gotta men. Have that. Got to. Especially young men. They need that father figure. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. gotta have it. Not a friend, so, a father. So Exactly. Not a friend, a father. Do you feel like it's good to stay in your uh, hometown? Where are you from? This is a question that people are asking, you know. I ain't gonna lie. Hell no. Nah. Need to leave. You need to leave. And something I ain't did yet. And I should have been did. But once again, like I say, I'm still, I, I ain't said it yet, but I was going to say it. I'm still learning myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like I said before, I always feel like if I was a nigga that can't be where I'm from or be in the hood or be wherever, then I ain't who I am, who I say I am. But now I'm over that. Like I should have been gone. You know what I'm saying? Cause it the most hate always come from you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you from, it's gonna always mm -hmm. be the most hate where you from because Sometimes these niggas feel like they know too. you. Yeah, for sure, family members. I got family members I don't talk to no more. Yeah, I know it. That I slap the shit out of when I see. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 I'm saying, <clears throat> um. Yeah, I should have been gone. Like, being here, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's niggas that's going to look at you and feel like, why not me, why him? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. we from the same yeah. city. We from the same hood. We went to the same school. Do the same, same shit. Same opportunities. Yeah, but, you know, niggas, you know. I always thought about that because you niggas riding around and looking good. Your teeth shining. You your feel shining. The, the, the officer that went to school and didn't make it. He don't like you because yeah, you making him look bad. You know fat. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, he ain't making a lot, nigga. And the, all the niggas you went to school with that fat. class, nigga, they didn't pick you to be no damn number one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they didn't pick they that. Didn't want nigga no, to no, be no, number they, one. They, I was that nigga too. I know they like that nigga is not gonna make it. You know? Yeah, that's what they thought. <laughs> but then, cause. bam, God changed things, and they can't do nothing about can't it. Can't do nothing about you it. Know what but I mean? hate. Yeah. Or try to say, even even when you reach out to help niggas, they still be like. Nah, nigga, I ain't you. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Fuck the platform you put me on. I want show car. See, that ain't I want something? show ho. No, oh, yeah. I want show why. I yeah. want show chain. Yeah, yeah. Why that's going on. I, I know it's going on because that's what a nigga do. They they gonna always try to take your spot or try or jealous. It can't kill table man for nothing. He didn't do nothing. Jealousy. jealousy is a dangerous thing. <laughs> you feel me? You see how we on the same yeah. time? <laughs> jealousy. The jealousy is, is crazy. But yeah, you niggas. know what everything boils down to to me is mental health. Is how you perceive something, how you think. Because if we both were raised in the same neighborhood and we we're afforded the same you know things in life and you got somewhere and I didn't, it's two reasons. Your grind is harder than mine. I need to step up my game. Mm -hmm. Or... God's purpose is that's where you need to be and I need to be somewhere else. Facts. That's all it boils down to. I agree with But that. it's how you perceive it. People don't always perceive it the way it's supposed to be. But then sometimes they it comes They don't with want age. to. I think they don't want to. Because mm -hmm. you can tell them, I mean, like, and, and it's real. The nigga that run the building is important as the nigga that keep up the building. Exactly. If you ask me. Exactly. Most definitely. Because if I'm running the business right here and my shit looking crazy, looking dirty, looking mm -hmm. ragged, like, then now... I'm looking bad now. My business going somewhere else, but niggas don't want to clean the building. Niggas don't want. Niggas want to run the building. Niggas want to say this my shit. 
But niggas don't want to put the work in to run my shit. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I'm speaking in general, bro. Like, I see that shit every day. That's oh, just because you made it, I think I'm supposed to make it too. You supposed to put me on. You know what that remind me of? This, you're very good at knowing what a scripture is, but talking about the members of your body and how no member is greater than the other. Fresh. That's just the truth. It's all, just, all things work about, together for right, the good, man. For the good. And even talking about a tongue the other day, how the tongue, small. as small as it is, it, it is. Very it can, powerful. Very exactly. powerful. Very. So, you know, when you think about all of that, it, it, it boils down to what you just said. And I love that. So explain to me uh, relationship, because I asked, uh, I asked y'all the same thing. I got to ask you the same thing. I asked him, how, how, how did you and how's you and P- my guy shout here, PGF shout. Uh, oh, man, I right. want to know how how this thing, you know, how how, yeah, how this everything. bond, how this bond came together. This bond came before anything. Like that's family for sure. Like. <laughs> <laughs> No, like, like the shit I want to say. You know what I'm saying? Words can't explain. Yeah, like, yeah. You That's feel dope, me? man. Like this family for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we locked in, man. You know, we 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 been in situation together where we both had to depend on each other as far as faith wise to keep each other afloat, to keep each other strong. Not only with just doing this music shit, but in real life situations. Like we coming from a, a, a branch where it's like we was day to day living. We day to day kicking it we seeing each other problems we you know we we uplifting each other like you know and it's deeper but you get what i'm saying like this real organic shit it's not no oh he route our route shit this shit yeah we years in you yeah. know what i'm saying mm-hmm. brothers first before anything if i start rapping today i know he'll still love me the same for sure you get what i'm saying yeah that's and what's vice real. versa and I, and I and i felt that when he came down i asked him because that was the thing remember we asked him was like man how you in the red, Deshaun? Hey, I'm gonna tell you what. It, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what else. What else? What else? It is when we in shot, right? So you know, um, you know, I, I I used to I used to get wild. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Hey, shot, call you a boy, man." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your man up there high and drunk and shit out there tripping. Go get your man and him, bit bro. And what the hell you doing up there? Why the fuck motherfuckers calling me telling me? That's dope. Get that's right, dope. nigga. And, and Straight you, matter of fact, I'm pulling up. That's hey, love, right? Hey, yeah, right. That's love. And somebody nigga be like, about you. Look, nigga be like, damn, hey, man, I'm finna go shout somebody pulling up. <laughs> I ain't trying to hit this shit right that's now, your man. Boy, man. I was trying to enjoy myself. Yeah, you gonna come up and trip it. Look, who the fuck called shout? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's For crazy, real. man. So, your top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Hmm, that's hard, man. I ain't even gonna lie, that's hard. Any oh, man, genre. You, come on now, you, you, hey, you got shit hard. Give it up, give it up, man. Hey, shout out to hell. So you got everybody that been on I'm this saying, platform. Like, I, I, Number you, one. See? All genres. If it's Johnny Cash, nigga, go on and see it. If it's look, yeah. a million, a million <laughs> things, a million things went through my mind. Like, I can't. Just narrow it down to three. I know it, but that's why we. That's the. That's the reason we asked the question, right? Let's go ahead and knock some people off. Come All right, now. so off the Number motherfucking tizz off. Yeah. Off of the How first. you feel today? Right. When you say different jumps, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go different time zones with this okay, shit. Exactly. Go right. Ahead. All right, pop. Okay, Pop. number one. That's number right. one. Andre 3000. Andre 3000 is number and two. Number three. Future. That's okay. dope. That's dope. So but you come with future like that. Say no, Drake. You know. I'm oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Only three. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I feel like I just three. limited my so, situation. Cut. But for real, I right, just my three. He's sorry. He's look, sorry. Look, look, he didn't mean it. What she say? Drake, he's sorry. He's he sorry. He didn't know oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to get in there. You didn't get in there this time. But, but that's just how it just hit. But but my musical influences, if I have any, would be a ri- a wide variety. Like yeah, I can yeah. go back to saying like, um, uh, Devin the dude. Man, that boy was dope in the day. You know what I'm saying? That nigga ride them. But he, I love this little Caden style. It was real simple, but deadly, right? You know what my favorite song from him was? Tell you day. Which one? Anything, plenty, man. Hey. Man, it's better than now. <laughs> Nothing at all. That's your <laughs> that's, boy, that's man. That's hey. My shit. Man, that nigga was bad. Hey, that nigga had a lot of hits, dude. And he had, and, and you know what? He had favor. Like, during that but time, see, being from Texas, he, bro, being my in, daddy in, in was California. On that shit. My daddy was on that oh, shit. Like, like yeah. on that other shit. 
I don't know how I stumbled across these folk, but you know, the devil and the dudes, Trey the Truth, motherfucking Zero, I mean, Slim Thugger, got them, all them, you know what them I'm saying? Bad, the man. West Coast, Ice Cube. Yeah, got I was them, just with his people. Uh, Mac, uh, Matt 10, yeah. Doug C. Yeah. Got them, uh, Snoop, you know, like, I can keep going. Nate, dog, like, I can go all the way, bro. I probably fuck with everybody who ever did anything Do with you, this music shit. And that, that brings up a question because the 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 vibe y'all give it's almost like a rap R and B ish type like mm -hmm. feel with the ones who can who sing yeah. you know Murray and you and yeah. you know and uh, like I say Rod Wave man it's fly the way you flowing bro appreciate you it you know what I'm saying it's appreciate fly it. bro it's fly man it's, it, and it's and it's the new thing that's what it, that's real it's the new thing it's yeah. it's really going down no nigga. it is because when you look at them up it, it says that y'all are singers not even rappers or anything I'm cool that. with it's that because I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Get my shit together anyway. So uh, how, did me, you, me, me, me. how did you come together with Murray with, with that with the song? Oh, oh, Murray, man, he's so genuine and organic too. Like I ain't gonna lie, anybody I ever dealt with, all with them music, days, anybody I ever deal with, with music is always organic. Um, he had hit me, I think DM, or I DM him some kind of way, whatever happened with DM shit, we exchanged numbers. And before we even did any music, we was texting like you know on some regular shit like. Wow. What's up, bro? There you got going. Nah, chilling. So, all right, bet that 100. Just checking on you. Be safe. Trust name. You know what I'm saying? He'll tell, bro, what you got going, bro? I hit back. But I cooking, look. <laughs> this before the TikTok shit. Before really? I was cooking on the TikTok, I was like, look, bro, cooking this shit, man. He like, damn, you know, looking like Thanksgiving around that motherfucker. Shit like that. Like, just regular home, regular boy, combo. Home, yeah. And, um, I don't know, bro. I, I sent he some one of us sent something to each other and the other sent the other back and we've been locked in since. Like I just hit him the other day. I got a show in um Charlotte coming up. I'm like, hey bro, push up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's that's good to build those relationships. Cause some people you click with, some people you don't. And that's a you fact, know that, right? Man. Like you yeah. just cause a nigga he in the in the lane that you in don't mean y'all gonna even click. Nah, that's real. I done met some people that I thought I was gonna like that I didn't like. Do you think now I got a question for you? <laughs> Do you think you ain't like him because of the people that you did click with or the people that did put that type of vibe on you? I just thought these were people that I had seen uh -huh. and I thought it'd be like me seeing you today and mm -hmm. like, damn, it ain't what I it was it ain't what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, yeah. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah. That's where I was coming from with it. I done met some of the dudes I looked up to and was looking or looked to and thought was stand up, and when I met them, it was not that way, bro. Oh yeah, I don't see. I've been of that in them room. I'm like, what the because hell? Is because everything we do, we like organic. So yeah. when you meet somebody, you want it to just mesh and mm -hmm. everything just flow. But sometimes when you meet it somebody, don't. it's like they just stand offish mm -hmm. or they don't speak or yeah, rude I hate that or shit. Yeah, you know I hate what I mean? Weird, too, nigga. I hate it's niggas who be like too nonchalant, like mm -hmm. like like like. Nigga. I think you got an attitude, nigga. You yeah, to like you so you so. Them yeah, they doing that the yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done had that. That's, oh, man, you that think nigga, you all that? Really, that don't really that don't move nothing because yeah. it make you feel like nigga, nigga, you ain't bad. In my mind, now nah, I think I'm bad. Nah, I don't even think I'm bad. I just be like, man, this nigga here. <laughs> nah, I'm like the nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe I'm reading too far into it. You know, I be like, I oh my the god, nigga, I, I be like, this nigga, it dirty. Like, but see, and a lot of times, you know, you gotta understand that's spiritual. I'm gonna be real nah, with fat. you. I, I it, it's spirits, certain spirits don't don't like, connect. Like, nah, bro, mm -hmm. I'm going without that nigga ain't right. No, nah, no, nah, you can tell. It's in the air, nigga. I don't need to be with that nigga right there. That That's nigga, true. you. I, we had a guy to come in the mm -hmm. other day on a on, on an interview, and as soon as that nigga came in, I attacked that nigga. Like, Motherfucker. No, no, nah, nah, <laughs> like I could tell we wasn't I was vibing right, yeah. and he wasn't. Even, it wasn't even that he wasn't even there for the interview. He just a nigga with a nigga, and he didn't. Always, see always and I was like, him. "What's this nigga doing there?" And he was like, uh, "He came in," and I was like, "Damn, man, uh, you ain't gonna speak." I asked the nigga, you know, I'm yeah. crazy, and say, yeah. "You in my spot, nigga? Hey, you don't speak?" He yeah. was like, um, "Yeah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, you know, he's still acting crazy." So then he started trying to break down the music to me. And that's why I lost it. You know, I started just hitting that nigga with blows, blows, blows. Cause hmm. a lot of times nigga don't be intelligent enough to keep up with the conversation. Yeah. So then he got mad left. I <laughs> mean, yeah. <laughs> because you have to hit niggas with the truth. Sometimes niggas not ready for this, man. What you doing? Nah, everybody ain't built. Everybody not gonna be. It's a lot of rappers not gonna. It make take. It, it take a special. <laughs> it take a special. Like you, like in order to like you can be a rapper. Anybody can be a rapper, but to be an artist. 
it takes a significant and certain type of person to be able to deal with this shit and learn how to balance this shit. Like I said, I'm still learning. Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard that. That's humbleness too. Yeah, I'm still learning, so I still form here and there, but it takes a certain type of individual to be able to walk out of the house where it's an issue and go straight to the studio and make a hit record or make a good song. Fuck a hit, a good yeah, song. A good song. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's like a different type of person who not a people person to go out here and doubt people, hug people, take a million pictures. You know what I'm saying? All that arrogant shit rub people the wrong way. Like, so me, I'm speaking on me anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm a different nigga. Like, a lot. I don't, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really like a self. Like, I'm, I'm. What's the word? Self centered. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I self-centered. think. Uh, uh, like, I just don't like people. I yeah, don't yeah, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I love my fans. I love people who That's support dope. my shit. I love the rap niggas that fuck with me for real. And I'm pushing up, pulling up by myself. However, we kicking, we hanging. I'm at other niggas events like how they at mine. You know what I'm saying? So it's like um, it take a different mental type of shit to deal with it. I could be in the house, goddamn, which I have. I don't lost people. People don't got life sentences. All kind of bad news hit a nigga. My daughter doing some bullshit. She ain't got no business, yeah. and still go to the studio. Hey, my boy, what's happening? Like it take a strong minded motherfucker. Everybody ain't ready for it. Either. I ain't ready. I'm telling you, the raise everybody not ready for that. So they, I want them. Oh. Go ahead, baby. No, no, no. I'm just saying everybody ain't ready for it. These niggas think they ready. Yeah. But what you just explained was trying to balance all that. These niggas ain't ready for that. Yeah. That take a special kind of person to be they able do. to deal with all these different... And then you got... You ain't even mentioning the people that's coming at you every day, every from, day. from different places that you didn't even know was coming. Fact. And now you got to balance that within this. So it's crazy, man. Shit. And and you meet people like you. It's a special gift, too. So you say you learning. That's just humbleness, man. You've been doing Thank your you. thing, man. And Thank you've been you. around the right people, too. So... For you to be still in the game? Come on, man. I've been trying to keep shot from calling me going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you mean you ain't go to the studio? Oh, boy? I love it, man. <laughs> what you was about to ask? So, oh, like, okay. um, I know you mentioned the cooking earlier, and yeah. I've, I heard you say on other platforms that you can cook anything. Yeah. So you can cook Jamaican food. See, get him, get him. <laughs> See, now nah, I ain't going to lie. Mm. I'm gonna have to look at a couple of YouTube because I ain't I, I can make jerk cheese. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I can I can do that. Okay. But the other shit, I don't know yet. Like Do you make it from scratch? Like the seasoning from scratch when you do the jerk chicken? Come on, man. <laughs> What's from scratch? You let me know and I can tell you. No, okay. You didn't get out of the bottle. You actually went and bought yeah, the seasonings, cut it up. Oh, okay. See something. Yeah, I got some shit out of the ball. Okay, I'm just checking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I did. <clears throat> where, how can how can how can people get a hold to you if they looking for you? Man, at the Red Sun on everything, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, the real the real the Red Sun. Yeah. Um, my number in my bio on my Instagram. Oh yeah. damn. Yeah, I got a phone where sometimes I might pick it up. You yeah, like that motherfucker. Mike Jones. Mike, 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 Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Mike he, he was the first nigga giving the number. I liked it, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But look, I just told the world for the first time, I might pick that motherfucker. You might pick up. it up. Yeah, it's the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the business line. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't no telling who might pick it up. You know what I'm saying? But I might. You who, would you, who would you like to work with, like, in the in the future? Like, I always say Chris Brown, right? And Chris I Brown? really do. Yeah, I love that nigga music and his personality. I had a nigga say Chris Brown better than Michael Jackson, man. <laughs> I don't, you know. <laughs> I, one of my, one of my like me, I, I, can't compare, three, I, I can't compare, like. Oranges and apples. Yeah, they different, you man. You know what I'm saying? I asked the nigga which Michael Jackson. But look, if, he great, right? if a nigga asks, is he great? Hell yeah, the boy great. The boy he, yeah, greater yeah, than a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I agree like, with you. You know what I'm saying? Amazing artist, bro. I agree with you because everybody that came on the show say the same thing about him. Chris Brown got to be doing something right. Cause everybody yeah. come on, mention that dude. Yeah, but I'm I, I'm going to say that again because I'm hoping like, nigga, you see this shit. But that'd be a dope collab too. <clears throat> but I really, I really, I really just want to work with anybody genuine like me, man. Good humble people for sure. I gotta work with Rod Wade though. You know what I'm saying for the culture. You know what I'm saying. I did it with Mo Three. I That's did right it with around Mo the corner. You gonna get him. You know what I'm saying. I'm doing a whole EP with uh, T Real. You know what I'm saying. I gotta get in there with the boy. Raw way, it's like a fat nigga situation going on. You get what I'm saying? Man, I, hey, I'm not gonna go. I could have went there, man. When I was in the streets, <laughs> them fat niggas came through, nigga. I don't know what it was. Them Houston niggas, them big niggas, Big Hulk, Big Pokey, all them niggas. See, they had their thing when it was a lot of 
see, people don't think it happened to them early on when Big Hog and them and all them guys was dying, Fat Pat. All these guys in Texas was dying the same way in mm. Houston. Uh, the rap thing, I go back to that because I remember that part too, you know, and it, it, the DJ Screw, the uh, uh, Big Mo. You you start, you just, you see all these different trends, man. And I know life goes on and everybody got to cross that path, man. But, man, I just, I just hope and pray God it just, you know, keep our people here a little yeah, longer, man. Facts. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, we got some talented people that, that left here real early, yeah, man. Yeah, facts. Dolph, I, I like Dolph, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like I like the music. Um, I used to like his music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. and and it it tripped me out how people. And I go back to that because his his of course his numbers is going up, and I hate that. Yeah, I, I hate, hate the next day after somebody passed, man. That was was great, and and you you didn't tell them they was great, but you crying today. Yo. They numbers going up. They don't get to see it. I hate this, man. Yeah, I hate that shit too. And you know what? Um, I'm I'm gonna speak on that situation like. Not that exact one. I'm just saying similar situations, right? <clears throat> it done been people, you know what I'm saying, that I had real love for, right? But um, I ain't really fuck with like that um, as much as I should. And I don't know bullshit, just as much as I should. Like, I've been doing so much, doing this and that. I kind of forgot about a lot of the people I love. And I lost a couple of them people. Wow. And 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 on the inside, it tear me up because I can never say, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, Damn, my bad for that last little convo, you know, or damn, my bad for not understanding what you were meaning by that, like, cause now it's over with. I can't even, I, I, it's at the point where I can't even post niggas no more, like, so, it, uh, spe like, so, like, I'm losing people, rap shit and real life, it's so much going on, so much I ain't even spoke on, it's just like, I'm just like, I can't do it, bro, and, no. and, and I be fake as hell to make a post after the fact when I ain't talked to a nigga about two months, you know what I'm saying? No, I get it, man. I I really uh, I I know already. I can't stand the after effects. Yeah. It's killing me, and I've seen it enough to study it, and that's the bad part. Because I think people are, are on this sick hyenas on the next day. I think people are getting used to this, bro. I know you might think I'm tripping. No, people. You know what I'm saying? I, you see what I'm saying? They they used to, it and they waiting on the next one, and I think that's horrible. Do that you follow me? Up. Yeah, 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 I do. I think it's horrible, bro, because at the end of the day, you get used to that. That's not the norm, man. Exactly. None, none of this shit is. You got all these young niggas. You got the, the poo shysters, the niggas getting locked up, these niggas shooting. This world is in a total chaos. And then you put, you wrap that up in some COVID, man, and you got some messed up situations that have happened in the last two years, bro. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy. Like, we, we, when COVID hit, I can ask you about that. Did, did you, you shut down? I know Atlanta didn't shut down, but three days, they claim it was a week. But no, I hell no. Nah. <laughs> Atlanta shut down. Did like, it? Yeah, it Follow. shut down. I mean, I, I, it was like, I Sorry. can't tell you exact how long, but no, nah, I can tell you it shut down long enough for me to be like, man, what the fuck, man? It messed you up. Yeah, like, damn, bro, I can't even go to the store. The store closed me and see was, what the fuck. I'm the only one going to the store in my house. I wouldn't let my kids go, nobody. I didn't know what this was. Yeah, I, but that I nigga, was like, it that messed too. me up. I'm like, damn, I got to go to the store. And I wouldn't let them. I'd take a bath, yeah. shower as soon as I get back. I'm taking four, five showers. I ain't going to lie. At first, bro, I was going shit like man. that. Yeah, at first. Everybody else ain't going to tell the truth about it. Yeah. But when it first came, nigga, I ain't know what it was. I told then I tell, mm -hmm. I said, Every, I leave my clothes at the door, nigga. Like, <laughs> nah, nah when, like, when it, yeah, I, I believe because when it first hit, look, I'm telling my folks, right? But if you leave this house, but stay where you at, man. Exactly. For real, two weeks, bro. That's what I was doing. I'm wearing gloves and shit. Yeah. I'm walking around this bitch looking like a nah. crazy man. Then I'm like, they letting us wear a mask in the bank. I was like, these niggas tripping. This hey, when they did it, that, I said, oh, it's finna be some bullshit. <laughs> <going on." laughs> they let niggas in with these masks. Oh my god, it's I didn't like it, man. But if you notice, that's what niggas when you see them when they when they commit a crime or they act a crime, they out here they got these masks on. Call these masks. Everywhere now, yeah. So a nigga get a mask quick. Fact, I got one right here. See what I'm saying? And they keep, <laughs> no, they making a lot of them. Like yeah. they, make, <laughs> they mass producing these damn masks. Girl, I know what's going on. Like I ain't even gonna lie, man. I, don't, I ain't gonna speak too deep on that shit either. But everybody know like what's going on. Like even if this shit done died down, which obviously it seemed mm -hmm. like it did. Everybody still going the fuck out. And yeah, some people do get it still. Some people ain't suffering from it, and long live the ones that we have lost due to this situation. But I mean, 
it, it ain't hard to see what's going on. Let's keep let's keep the idea going on. Let's keep getting the money. Let's keep selling the lights all. Let's keep selling the hand sanitizers. Let's keep selling the money. Money making that money, boy. You talking about millions and millions of dollars. That's what come you on. talking about, man. Come on, man. Man, I'm gonna ask you one more question. Come my partner. One more too. You do. You yes. want to go first, you, you, ladies? Hey, first. I'm here, man. I'm trying to catch <laughs> you. Off the night, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you so much, man. We enjoying this. For so, man. Real talk. Thank you. I was watching another interview, and you talked about mental illness, and yeah. you said that recently you went through something yourself. Yeah, hey, yeah. Depression. Do you mind talking on on it and letting us know how you overcame it or how you are overcoming it? <clears throat> All right, so mentally, <clears throat> I had a uh, mental breakdown, you know what I'm saying? Um, when my thoughts kind of overread me and, and, and I started to uh, believe in some crazy shit, like I'm thinking different shit going on, I'm getting a little paranoid, you know, having an episode. Um, and I kind of went on a rant, like, you know what I'm saying? Start expressing my actual feelings and, and, and speaking to people who I don't even have to speak to like that, like, you know, if you ain't this, fuck you, nigga. If you ain't around here, fuck you, nigga. If you ain't do this for me, nigga, fuck you, nigga. And I'm with whatever, nigga. Like, when it ain't got to be like that, because I can't blame everybody for something somebody else did. And and, and it, it really hit me with, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like I, I I'm so busy. I don't get the time to think. So, <clears throat> I lost my grandmother. Um, I lost partners. Like, like, every week I was losing a partner. And I'm talking about recently, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, a few months ago, like, and it all just hit me one day. I was sitting down. I don't know what I was doing. I might have been about to record. And I don't know why it hit me. It just hit. Boom. And I get in this mode. And I get to feeling crazy. And I get angry. And I get to thinking about all the shit I didn't do. Like I was just saying. The shit I didn't say. The people I didn't pull up on. Who I should have pulled up on. Um, the things I should have did that I didn't do. And it just started fucking with me. And I had an episode. And I went on a rant. But... Now, me going on that rant and having people around, you know what I'm saying, that care for a nigga for real. Hey, bro, you know, you ain't, gonna, you ain't wrong if you go, you know, start back going to the therapy, bro. For sure. You know, you ain't wrong for how you feel, but, bro, you shouldn't, you know what I mean, let the world see you like that. Mm -hmm. you, if you feel that, don't go nowhere, but just stay in the house, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you feel that shit coming on, um, and how I deal with it, I just kind of like, well, now how I've been dealing with it. Just I don't give a fuck. Honestly. <laughs> no, I'm being honest. I like, I, I, I'm being honest. Like it's like it's like I could try. I could I could be real all day. And if you don't accept that shit, you'll never accept that shit. I'm being myself up. Keep trying to stress that to you. So you know you could be mad at me because I didn't post your mid take. Mm -hmm. I didn't see your mid take go up, nigga. I've been in the studio. I've been grinding. I've been mm -hmm. this and that. I, and I got my kids and shit. Like I'm doing a lot. My bad. No, nah, bro, that fucked up. Why you lame me? All right, fuck. All right. All right. Let me start thinking about it. Because my mind deep. My mind fucked up. Yeah, 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 it yeah. It get yeah. to go in different places and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I don't give a fuck. Like, I get it. I got to. Mm -hmm. Not even, even though shit do bother me, I have to tell myself, man, fuck that, boy. You got this going on. Fuck that. What you going to play yourself for this shit? Mm -hmm. They don't give a fuck about you. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Why you care about somebody giving a fuck about you? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit'll drive you fucking crazy. It will. Damn, why you don't love me, bro? I did everything that a real nigga supposed to do. I was so loyal, nigga. I never traded, never robbed, never stole, never went behind your back. And you still saying, fuck me, y'all. But see, and, and, and again, I go back to these, it's probably cliche, but it's spiritual warfare. Yeah. It has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the people that see, you're dealing with. Say. It's a spirit. And 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 I believe I'm a believer, so I believe that when that spirit is in the air, it's something that's where it goes into an individual to attack you, to bring you from a place where basically you it's standing between you and your blessing. Yeah. So you got to be smart enough not to let anything trick you out of your position. But see that's and see why I spoke on the mental health shit because I used to see a therapist. I used to take yeah, yeah, medication yeah, yeah. and I stopped. You know, with the, with the friends and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, you, yeah. That shit gonna make you man. crazy, bro. You just a regular nigga, man. You just been through shit. That's why you like that, bro. And I'm like, nah, bro. I'm like, and and I ain't saying like, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I used to be embarrassed, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But now I'm being honest, like, cause it's serious. Mental health is real. It's very real. And there's real, so you know many saying? people who are going through what you're going through. Yeah, I done blacked out before and don't even remember, like, 
bro, you was talking some evil shit. Like, I'm like, what? What the fuck was I saying? Like, I'm like, when you say that speech, yeah. I done said shit to a nigga in one of them episodes, and it happened uh, two, three months later. Wow. A nigga called me, bro. That same as that shit you said happened literally exactly the way you said it. And I'm like, what I say? Damn. You get what I'm saying? No, no, that's crazy. But I get it. I get it, man. Like I said. It happens. It happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it but, happens. I've heard it before. Mm-hmm. But but honestly, like I said, it's still spiritual warfare. Yeah. I always understand that it's spiritual warfare, that, that it's always, and it ain't going to leave. Most of the time, you be mad at the person. And I've noticed when a person leave, that same spirit just hop in right somebody in else. Yeah, bro. It don't leave. You <clears throat> see what I'm saying? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it ain't going that shit nowhere. Hot. Listen, and the crazy thing about that, man. And you know, I, I just try to understand the world as it is. Yeah. Because <clears throat> all the shit that we learned, all the shit that was taught, could all be real or it could all be false. It could all be whatever somebody wanted to be in their own head, right? So I try to see shit for what it is. And I definitely feel energies come in the room and shit and be like, oh, hell no. Already. Uh, I just tell you about that nigga. That shit dragging you down and pulling you. You get to looking like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fact. No, no, I agree because I, I know that's the same thing I've been expressing. Like, hey, man, you just, hey, man, you, you got to be careful and you got to stay prayed up, bro. That's all I can tell yeah, That's what I believe. You know, I got to keep myself prayed up, isolated sometime, meditate yeah, sometime. Yeah, isolated like man, a fool. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just going to chill today or mm-hmm. I'm going I'm to fast from talking or yeah. I'm, a, I'm trying to condition myself yeah. to fight against this warfare that I'm about to face. Yeah. But in everything we do, awareness is the first thing. You fact. always have to know that you are aware of it because sometimes somebody can come at you and all of a sudden you want to cuss them out, you want to fight them, whatever, because you're not realizing what that really no nah, fact what, what's really going on but if you realize just like a person who is an alcoholic mm-hmm. um they first have to say i'm Everybody. an alcoholic first say i'm an alcoholic before they can get help because oh yeah I've admitted. so you have to know or we all have to know that okay that right there as he said is spiritual warfare it is it, it's not something i can fight physically so i need to know that okay i need to go through this to make me stronger because we're older mm-hmm. and we know that okay a lot of things that we've done in the past we're not fit that person anymore Fact. but we had to go through that to prepare us for where we are right now mm-hmm. if we didn't go through that we wouldn't we be, be ready for this shit right here. exactly so going forward you still have to go through a whole bunch of stuff to prepare yeah. you for that goal down the line that we can't see yet but we know that it's predestined in our lives yeah fair yeah. No, I so. agree. 100% yeah, I couldn't have said it no better myself <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get these, get these brownie points. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to stay married another twenty years. You know what I'm talking about, man. I, man, hey, that's a beautiful man, thing, look, man. Been, congratulations, look, look over there, man. Look what we did, man. Yo, I'm just here, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure all this shit out too. You know what I'm saying? I want a family. I want a big man, house. I want a land. It's dope, bro. I want to do dope. a big ass wedding and shit. Nigga, you know what I'm we just did it, man. You see how good I'm looking on this picture. We need a renewal. Okay, we just did a renewal. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I spent uh-huh. that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Congrats, my brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, be, we, hey, man, we working toward perfection, man. Yeah. So, uh, Katie Flame, my, my partner wanted me to ask you about Trill Talk, no pill talk. Shout out to you, nigga. You got a shout out. You heard? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but Katie Flame, you did a song with him in East Texas. You probably don't remember. You do something with so many people. Uh, it was called, we heard, called Trenches? It was uh, Trenches. Artist KD, AK Flame. I remember the name KD Flame. Yeah. I do remember that name. But, but I, you you be doing a lot of lot of songs. You didn't go. No, nah, it ain't even that. <clears throat> I remember, yeah, I don't remember the song, but I think I do. Like, yeah. it's like, I do so many, though, for real. I know. I'm trying to think if I can surprise him and say the hook or something. Hold on, let me <laughs> Trenches, trenches, trenches. Uh, yeah, trenches. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Damn, man. I think he just DM'd me the other day, Katie Flame. Yeah, yeah. Shout that's out him. To you, man. No disrespect. I can't even remember the name of the song. Yeah, because right you gotta do it. You hey, do the a fly, lot. The flyer got. It's like a black flyer with, with blue I words. Seen it. My partner just sent me that. He was like, man, make yeah. sure you ask that because he we. we 
you when he know all of them, but when you come to like Dallas or whatever, and we go through these blog systems or whatever, they always send me questions. I'm, like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get to see my boy the show. Mm -hmm. So I ask because I want to make sure that we, you know, that that I ask you everything that. So see, I I'm tapped in, but I know what I love. My heart go toward what I love. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I go and, and, and start looking, I'm like, okay, I love this. I'm asking about this. Or the Birdman, I'm asking about this. I'm with all but, of yeah, it. <laughs> I ask just be, me anything. <laughs> I be trying to be real <laughs> with it, man. It was another <clears> song that I was going to ask you about, but I'm going to let her go first because she's looking at me with them little squeeny eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When do you have a next project dropping? Um, Top of the, well, is that right? Top of next year? Mm -hmm. Like first mm -hmm. quarter, yeah. in, uh, mid January, early February. What's it called? Bigger than me. Bigger than me. <clears throat> yeah, I call it bigger than me because um, the the things that I went through, bigger than me, the sacrifices I made, bigger than me. Um, the 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 whole shit. It's just so much bigger than me. Like my kids, my family, my friends, the people who look up to me, my fans. Uh, you know, um, the game, the culture. The industry, like, it's all bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going all in. Like, it ain't just about me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the summer, a so, summer walker, son. Mm. How did mm. how did that happen? Shout out to London on the track, man. Um, yeah, London be linking up. <clears throat> yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, he gonna be, yeah. yeah, he gonna put it out there yeah. some kind of way. Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> me and bro, Shout me and bro, me and bro, me and bro came from back way, way, back, way back. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I like that. And um, yeah, shout out to London on the track for even bringing me in the situation. Shout out to Summer Walker for being a real nigga and, and handling the business properly and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Rocking with a nigga for sure. Mm -hmm. But it happened. Um, London called me and he was like, we working on Summer album and I got this song idea and you the only nigga I know that can goddamn make it happen and I need you to do it. And I'm like, bet. I pull up. He playing the beat. I'm listening. Matter of fact, me, it was me, him, uh, one shot deal. One shot. Shout Manny. out one shot, man. Yeah, man, we all went. Deals in the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all went together. Yeah, we went. We pulled up. Um, they was playing, well, London was playing the record. It didn't even have the drums or nothing. It wasn't even finished. It was just like keys. And I went in. Like, he told me, you know, this what we going through. This how I feel about certain shit. This how some feel about certain shit. Um, it's a lot of Instagram shit. It's a lot of shade room shit. It's a lot of petty shit. Like, and he gave me the ideas. And what I did was, I took them in, manipulated those ideas with real life situations of mine, and then I got them reference that shit in a female way. You get what I'm saying? Now I'm tripping over here, nigga. You said manipulated, man. Yeah. I thought about the song with you and him. Oh yeah, that don't go hard, nigga. Man, you like, you say you. So, say when, he, when you said that, my mind went straight to that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love the way you guys collab, man. I'll oh, be yeah. watching, man. It's just a good thing to have a brother and, and have some brotherly love, man. It's all right for niggas to, you know, yeah, really yeah, love yeah. each it's other, all right man. I love down. my niggas. Yeah, I yeah. love all my niggas. Yeah, they know yeah. it. I tell them. No, nah, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You don't supposed to wait till it's too damn late. That's exactly. for sure, man. So, uh, big kudos to you. You got something else for my yes, guy? Yes, sir. That's Say, it. man, the Red Sean, we love you, brother. Man, and I, I hope, hey, man, anytime you you need us, we'll pull up. Don't don't play. Yes, we'll we'll I fly see. up, nigga. I, I promise see what's going on. You know, no so <laughs> <laughs> Say, we just well, you family, man. Yeah, and like I said, you. man. Where if it's ever a need, man, and shout know the same thing, man. We pulling up and if vice versa. And yeah, we coming. And, and at the end of the day, if we yeah, we've been here eleven months, y'all, and we got the red sun. I'm I'm feeling myself. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And yeah. I'm telling you, I love your personality. It's, oh, it's, it's dope, man. Thank you, thank I'm you, dope, bro. Thank you. Like we interview, we got 400 and some interviews, nigga. I know if your spirit ain't right. Oh yeah, know? I know you do. <laughs> Sorry would have been like this. <laughs> So, so, so what do you think about Charleston White, man? I'm gonna put you out there. I'm gonna put you out there, about, nigga. I'm gonna you put you out there. You want me to tell you what I think about Charleston? Yeah, yeah, nigga. Hey, right. cause he be he be on my show and niggas be getting on me like, man. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about Charleston, right? I can respect any man, right? That stand on stand on what he say. I don't give a damn what he say. You know whether I agree with it or not. A man is a man, and a man stand on what they say. Wow. So I salute that man for being a man, if that's how he feel, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, whatever misunderstandings that be going on from, you know, assumptions or assuming or whatever, I, I feel like, you know, it, you can't speak on a lot of shit unless you knowing exactly what's going on. Me, personally, as a man, 
But he stand on what he say. Shit, I'm fucking with it. Stand on it. I'm, I'm looking. I'm watching. I'm saluting. Wow. I, I like it, man. I agree. I agree. I, I yeah, mean, and that's only because I don't know no bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, that, if it's some bullshit in the guy, I don't wait, know. Wait, 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 clear it up, right? Like, yeah, we you don't know what the- Yeah, I don't know that. If he on some other shit, I ain't salute no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He ain't going all the way in. Yeah, you know. But, but you know, yeah, I, I, I interview him a lot, man. And, and, and to be honest with you, man, we be on a lot of different you know, platforms like like because of the stuff that happens around him and the controversy. But at the end of the day, man, ever since I've been dealing with him, like I said, I look at the part of him bringing them kids over there. He blessed a lot of children in mm-hmm. my school. You know, I be you know we clothe different children together. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so, what's y'all, up. yeah, we've been doing it. That's what I, I look at the realness. I don't yeah. go, and then I don't I don't box nobody into a position of where they at. I let people grow. Yeah, got see, you to, see, man. See, so many times people get you, I'm mad at you, so when I'm mad at you, you was a hoe, yeah. and I keep you in the whole position, but it really ain't true because God done evolved you, and I'm over here still mad at the yeah, hoe. Yeah, that's bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Because people don't let people grow. Fact. People don't let people grow. But I think that shit was instilled in us. Like, we got to override that shit. Yeah, yeah, and when yeah. when I say us, I mean as a whole. No, 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 I agree. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't want to see a nigga go above. Niggas, a lot of niggas. I ain't going to say me, though. I, I be wanting to see everybody up. Man, don't you I know don't, what? Look, I want, and I'm going to be honest. I want everybody up so I can kick back. But I'm tired. Like, I'm trying to live life, man. You feel yeah, me? You know, no. You 100% right, man. Like I said, Everybody got to win, man, in the end, man. I be looking at different people and different legacies, man, and it look good. You know, a lot of times people doing better than what they really, you know, they ain't broke. Like, like when I look at, like, when you look at the legacies that have been held by Rock, whether it be Birdman, whether it be Jay-Z, mm-hmm. uh, Rockefeller, or whatever, these people are rich, man. Everybody came out of these whole situations. Mm-hmm. Entrepreneurs, this rap game is real, man. Yeah, you real. know what I'm saying? Like it made it changed the entrepreneurship for black people in a major way. Major. And and I think we we need to celebrate that. I think a lot of times we don't. So bro. We don't. I, we too busy living in the moment. <clears throat> yeah, niggas don't set, like. I just had this That's conversation. You know what I'm saying? Um, with Bank, right? With Big Bank. Yeah. <clears throat> niggas don't. Niggas don't celebrate. Niggas. Niggas don't. Um. Up niggas like at all like and, and, and I don't know why I do I salute like this whole time you know all the compassion they make I up niggas like I'm loving it that what they doing we sound like one hundred I support it nigga let's work but everybody ain't gonna be you and sometimes we get caught up because we be just because we keep it one hundred we think the next person will and because yeah. we did it to them and they not mm-hmm. it, it, it's always like that man it's a catch twenty two you try to lock in. Next and, and it really ain't meant to be. So hey, we we don't want to end it on no bad note though. No, nah, we on a good note, yeah, man. Yeah, because yeah, I, I you know won't talk about the haters last. <laughs> <laughs> them damn haters, I love them. You gotta have them too though. Yeah, you gotta have. Them if you don't got that. none, you ain't doing nothing man. at all, at all, man. So hey, man, we love you, bro, and we appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk One Hundred One, man. You. And when you come into the city in Dallas, we gotta get you in the studio oh, too. Yeah, we, you know, you, we gotta get you in there, man. Yeah, can't wait. Already, man. Hey, man, thank y'all for having me, man. I really appreciate it. It was a humbling experience. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, come on, man. I, I I was looking for you. This my I told him I said well, yeah once I get him I'm good, nigga. I done did my thing. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, Thank man, that's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we have.